Howdy and welcome back. Uh, the warning just dropped a Europe tour after movie. Um, Spain and Portugal, from what I can tell from the title. Um, and if I look at the chapters, I've got Madrid, Lisbon, Santiago de Compostela. I don't know what exactly what that means. Is there Santiago? I don't. I don't know. Barcelona. I recognize that. I have Bill Bill. Bilbao? I, I don't know how to pronounce that. Anyway, I don't know where... Uh, there must be different stops in their tour. So um, I figured I'll watch this. Might as well watch it with you. So here we go. Let's see what cool stuff is in here. I love the after movies. Uh, I love all of the moments, jokes, um, just all the cool stuff. You know, the downtime, all of that. So let's see what we get. On the road again, I've seen Rudy wearing that hat. This must be their flight. The ones they use when they fly. Yeah, this must be the cargo they take with them when they fly as opposed to the stuff that gets shipped on trucks and stuff, I guess. I don't know. What they can take on the plane with them, I guess. I wonder what's in those. Guitars? Possibly? Bass, guitars, drum pieces, I don't know. I don't know. They're definitely flying. Hey! Pilot says hi. Europe tour 2024, cool. Look, no hands. <laughs> Put your hands on your wheel, Rudy. You got valuable cargo. I presume. I want to ask you guys, what do you think about this new logo? I mean, obviously, this is in the style uh, for "Keep Me Fed" from the album cover. I'm kind of—I mean, I love the, the the traditional warning logo, and I don't think they're they're abandoning that. But I'm just kind of curious what you think of this logo. It's interesting. Evolve. Now commanding the crowd. Ah, I love her drums in this so much. That's why I think it's still probably my favorite song. It's all pow. The scream, the drums. Ugh. I love this pow cam. Oh, and this is the meet and greet stuff for the VIPs, I take it. Cool. I think that's it. I haven't been to a concert yet. I have tickets. I'll back up. I have tickets to Aftershock Festival. And uh, I think Powell very recently on Instagram said something like that. Uh, and, and before that, somebody else said something. Might have been Danny. That they try to, or they're going to try to book uh, clubs, head, little headlining gigs for themselves around their festival appearances uh, in the U.S. She mentioned specifically in the U.S. festival appearances that they're doing. So I'm really hoping that they're going to have something in my area in Northern California. And I'd love to get it. I bought tickets to Aftershock because I want to see them no matter what. But if they have some headlining uh, locations nearby, I think I'm going to be going to, to multiple. So I've never been to one. And I, I, I toy with the, I got the VIP Aftershock tickets, but those don't, I don't think those don't give you any, any like access to the, to the uh, performers or anything. I think that's just comfort. <laughs> In Aftershock, they say, you know, you get access to a VIP area with like air conditioned places and things you can, re you can rest and, and stuff like that. Um, I, I'm toying with the idea. Should I get a VIP ticket to like a, a venue if they like, you know, book a small place or something or a medium sized place or whatever uh, around me? Should I get the, the meet and greet tickets? The reason I say that, I mean, obviously most fans are going to say, yes, go for it. But I'm not a people person. <laughs> And I don't know what I would do. I would love to be able to speak to them, but I don't know what I would say. You know, I don't know. Have you been to one a concert? If, if you're watching, and have you gotten the VIP experience, the the meet and greet stuff, and how was it? Let me know. Ah, 
That's a cool ending. That was a cool ending. I don't think that was exactly the way she's done it before. That's pretty cool. I like. I heard that they're they're making little tweaks. Like there's a an extended dust to dust ending that they're doing now. So I kind of like that. It's cool. Lisbon, I think. That's what is missing from this one, this after movie. All the other after movies I've seen, if they're speaking Spanish, you get an English, you get the Spanish and you get the English in different colored text. And if they speak English, you get the Spanish a translation too. They don't have that on here. And there's no captions. Uh-oh. <laughs> I'll try to figure it out from context. I've noticed this too from the after movie or after movies a lot. Um, often before the uh, the actual appearance, before they go on stage, Danny will do push ups and stuff, and, and it looks like Powell's doing some weights. Maybe this is after I don't know, but I know after I saw a picture on Instagram, or maybe it was in the Patreon. I don't know, but Pow has treatments that she does on her muscles, little like electric shock things that she does on her muscles to like so they don't cramp up or something or. or or you know, hurt her because she she uses a lot. You know, exercise with the warning. Okay. Sounds cool. Oh, that's a question. I just realized that this is Portugal, and Danny's speaking English. I was curious about that because Portuguese is not the same as Spanish. I had a friend, um, online friend. Uh, we were in a group, a fan group, uh, and she was from Mexico, and somebody joined this. It was like an online chat thing, and somebody joined from Brazil, where they speak Portuguese. And we were like, hey, can you, can you talk to her? And she said, that, they're not the same language. <laughs> so I was wondering, Danny, would she speak Spanish there or English? And it looks like she's chosen English because I guess maybe... Ah, that's interesting. In Portugal, since they're right next to Spain, do a lot of the people learn Spanish? I would imagine they do. Hmm. I was just curious. I was just curious about that. More meet and greet. The fans, the fans fanning themselves. Is it out of excitement to see the warning, or was it really hot there? <laughs> Who's that? Okay. So this is a meet and greet thing, right? Or something backstage photographs, VIPs or something? You got the warning in the middle and you got two other people I don't know. One looks kind of like a fan because she's got the, the bag. The other one looks like she might be a performer from another group or something. I don't know. Just dressed like a rocker. Very cool. The flags. I've been seeing that in the pictures on Instagram people have been posting. And uh, they, they copy them. If you ever join their Patreon, by the way, join their Patreon. It's really fun. Um, they have a Discord server, and you, you know, people are just, Morning Army is just scouring the internet, looking for everything about the warning. And, and they pull off every, every po picture that people post uh, on Instagram or wherever uh, from the different concerts. And you get to see them all in one place, which is really cool. And I've seen a lot of flags, uh, which I thought was nice. I watched, um, after I watched, uh, I like Metallica. But I haven't kept up a lot with Metallica and new stuff. I'm getting to a point, trust me. Atlas Rise, uh, when they did a cover for it, I went and checked out the official music video for Metallica. And one thing I noticed was that where they were performing in their, their studio, they were performing, and there were flags, Metallica flag, you know, flags of different countries with Metallica's uh, logo and stuff on them. I'm like, that is really cool. I wonder if the warning would do something like that. And this tour, I've been noticing that. They're getting a lot of those. I wonder if they're ever going to put those up somewhere, like maybe in the cave. Or something. I don't know. <laughs> I love this tradition too. Every after movie you see this this tradition where they do the the one, two, three warning where they kick off, you know, they get ready for the, the concert. That's great. Santiago Compostela is fine. 
España por primera vez, que no sea la última. Todo el ánimo y buenas vibras. Disciple. Ah, QQ. Well, they're in Spain now, so of course they're going to speak Spanish. Of course. Oh, cool! On the tour bus, you get. We've seen some stuff here too, behind the scenes stuff uh, on the Patreon. So again, join. You'll get. You get to see a lot of cool stuff, a lot of exclusive stuff too that you don't get. Doesn't go to YouTube. Um. Some of it's in the tour bus, which is really cool. They have a really cool tour bus. A double-decker tour bus. It's really nice. Barcelona. He almost lost the phone. Oh, And the food. Another thing you see on Instagram, I don't think that's a Patreon exclusive, but you see a lot of the posting, usually Rudy or somebody else post their meals, which is really cool. They all gather of like a, a, a you know, family, family dinner, which is really cool. Um, what was I going to say about that? Oh, I was going to say, I really do kind of miss the subtitles they used to put in the after movies. I'm just ashamed they didn't put them in this one. Would like to know what they're saying some of the times. Hey, hang on. What was on those shirts? I've never seen those shirts. I didn't see any pictures of those shirts. These blue or purple shirts or whatever. Playground? What are those shirts? I don't recognize them. 19-something. I thought they would be obvious to what they, were say, what they said, but they don't. Not to me, at least. You guys know, let me know. Oh, I re remember Rudy saying something about they had gelato after after dinner. Looks like that's what this is. But that was in Italy, I think. So maybe this is just plain old ice cream. <laughs> Animosity. I love the fans so much. The excitement that people have in the audience. I just dig it. I mean, look at these people. And all ages, too. You get a woman like here who's closer to my age. And then you get these young people. It's just awesome. How can you not want to be a part? I mean, you guys are. If you're watching this, you're obviously a fan. You're obviously already a, in the fandom. So, But how could anybody not want to be a fan of The Warning? It's just it's so cool. <laughs> Sick. Sick. All right. I can't wait for an official live of this. I like the, the official music video. Um, some people may have seen my reaction to that and thought I didn't like it. I do like it. I, I, it, it won't leave my head. So obviously I love it. Um, but I still want a, a live of that. I want a live of, uh, of well, we got an official live of more. We got that from MTV. We got an official, I want an official live of Sick. QQ for sure. And uh, uh, Automatic Sun. I, I really hope that they, they release at least some of those from the Pepsi Center. It'd be really cool. Just because there's so much, so much energy live with them, you know? So much fun. And to see the crowd interact with them, hmm, like you're seeing here. Ah, Danny's heart. <laughs> All right, pal. Where are we now? How do you pronounce that? Bilbao? 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 I want to say Bilbo, but it's not The Hobbit, so. <laughs> Bilbao. Okay, yeah. Rudy told me. It doesn't fit? Oh, no.
There we go. They had to get a smaller one. The big one wouldn't fit. Little Z, and here's a little cool kid who has the ripped pants like Danny had <laughs> in the, um, the MTV stuff. That's cool. He's got a warning shirt. A big fan. I think it's a boy. Could be a girl. Yeah, kid. Choke. Cool. Z. Oh, look at that. Oh, that is so cool, Danny. Oh, you're so fuck you're so sweet. That you're here performing the song in front of this kid. That is and with this kid. That is amazing. Why is she such a nice person? World doesn't deserve you, Danny. Oh, that's cool. That was really fun and cool. Uh, did they show something? Is this at the very end? Yeah. Posters for the Europe tour. Very cool. Out publicly somewhere, I guess. Very cool. I love that tradition they have too of of uh, going out the three of them in the same same order, and then the bow to the crowd, and then the turn around and, and lay down and get the pictures. You know, um, of every every venue they they appear. And there was a uh, in Instagram, I think recently there was a video where they had a like a quick, really fast montage of them all, which was just amazing to see how they kind of lined up so well. Just, ah, really, really freaking cool. Anyway, um, love this very much. Thanks, guys, for watching with me. And uh, I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.